I'm going to film a weekend vlog because this weekend we are having the Christmas celebration we didn't get to have in 2020 uh, because of the UK winter lockdown. We were not able to get together with my sister who lives up in Birmingham for our usual Christmas. So we're having it this weekend, but we've refashioned it and we've invented our own family holiday, which I'm sure is something we will probably now celebrate for years to come. It has its own name and it is Himin Penyo Day. <laughs> it's a completely made up name. It's a combination of a few words, ginger, <laughs> So it's spelt G-I-M-P-E-N-O. Human Peno is how it's pronounced. <laughs> it's made up of the word ginger for gingerbread because we made gingerbread houses at Christmas and my sister couldn't have any. Flamingos, which for reasons I can't actually remember why flamingos because my sister always sings songs about flamingos. And jalapeno poppers, which is something we always have on Christmas Day. We're absolutely obsessed with jalapeno poppers, but... Last year, all the supermarkets changed how they were made and they are no longer nice. So we are going to have to order them from Papa John's who still do nice jalapeno poppers. We happen to have some decorations left over from a birthday party that Lilia had when she was eight or nine, which was like a luau theme. So we have things like palm trees and bunting. So I put those up because it seemed fitting. We have quite a few flamingo decoration type things. More than I realised, more than anyone should have really, and an inflatable monkey. So I am just preparing the house for Human Peño weekend. I've just been out and bought a new rug. I'm so sick of our rug in the living room, I'll show you it. We've had it for 11 or 12 years. It's because I'm so bad at making decisions and it is literally coming apart and covered in stains now and paint, because Lilia paints in here. She won't be painting on my new rug. And Dunelm Mill have got a massive rug sale. So I went and just, on a whim, I just went and bought a new rug for the living room. All we need now is new sofas, but I don't think I'll be buying those on a whim on a Friday before we've got people coming round. But I'll show you my new rug. So here is the old rug. Now, looking at it through the screen of the camera, it doesn't look too bad. But I will show you close up. So here we have the edge in front of the fireplace. As you can see, it is falling properly apart, coming apart at the seams. And then here's the area where Lilia likes to do her painting. Oh, it's in a sunbeam, but you can just see a nice splodge of yellow paint there. And then I don't, here you go, red paint. And then we've got all kinds of, I don't know, paint and other stains all over it. And it's got to the point now where I've just given up cleaning it. I am, um, there's no point. And this is my new rug. I wasn't going to go Grello for the living room. This is my horrible old sofa. We bought this from a company that went bust about two weeks after we bought it. And it's awful. It's an awful quality sofa. And we did get quite a bit of money back actually just before they went bust, but not the full amount. I wish I'd fought harder for the full amount. Uh, but yeah, so Dunnell Mill got a huge rug sale on. Um, and we got this for 60 quid, basically. So I'm gonna roll it out and see what it looks like. And I have hated this cushion for three years. Well, probably not that long. For about the last two years, I've hated this cushion. But yet, instead of just removing it, I just leave it there. But today, I bought a replacement. I am going to keep the cushion pad, but I'm going to get rid of the cushion cover. I got a yellow one. Oh, I need to do a bit of styling and, and uh, pillow poofing and stuff, but you get the idea. <laughs> Won't look quite like this. I made these out of a vintage William Morris fabric, and we used to have a sofa covered in this fabric growing up. Uh, I've got one on the sofa, a couple on the sofa and one on this armchair. So I've got yellow to tie in now with my Grello rug. So let's get the rug down. And here it is. I thought it 
would be wider but it's actually about the same width as the one that was already here it is longer so it goes underneath the sofa which is fine any extra rug um prevents drafts and we do live in an edwardian terrace house with original wooden floorboards <laughs> so they can get a bit drafty and of course because it's himming peño weekend i've put up the himming peño tree <laughs> This is some artwork that Lilia and Phoebe have been working on. Uh, inflatable monkey is still there. New cushion is in place. Might get another one. Everything's looking a bit tidier. This all needs to be replaced. This is part of an old modular storage unit. And we just put it there when we moved in, like so many things that have been in the house. <laughs> we just never got around to sorting it out. What I would like is a nice sort of mid-century modern um, coffee table with storage. If you know where I can get one, let me know. <laughs> I'm quite pleased with that. To be honest, 60 quid. If that lasts us six months, I'll be happy. Just cleaning the kitchen and something caught my eye. Just on the top left of that very broken looking arbor, there is a butterfly opening and closing its wing. Can you see her? Did I mention it's Friday? It's Friday today. My sister won't be here until tomorrow. I just wanted to pause in the cleaning and sorting and organising to say, oh, I just realised I've taken the towels off the line and I've left them outside. I need to go and get those and fold them up. Anyway, I was cleaning the kitchen and a, um, a friend of um, the podcast sent a few things from America, including some snacks, Hi Lynette and hi Destiny. Lynette and Destiny sent us some American snacks and she said she googled it to see if we if they definitely weren't available here and we've never seen any of them. Well we've heard of Cheetos um, but American Cheetos are far more exciting for the girls. <laughs> um, but they sent some Junior Mints uh, and I was just putting some in a tub to put them out and put them in the fridge ready because I'll put them out tomorrow when my mum and sister are here and I just happened to try one. I just wanted to pause to say, oh my goodness, they're amazing. They're like little tiny after eights. They're so tasty. I'm gonna have to hide them. I'm gonna end up eating all of them and feeling very sick. Junior Mint, yum. Saturday morning. Lily is delighted to be up. <laughs> I just asked you to close that drawer, not the door. Oh. And you just closed the door. The state of my hair, you have to sort that out. So we've got all kinds of mess going on behind us. And we've got a load of tidying and getting ready to do. The girls have both got drama school, so I'll be taking Lily to her drama school shortly. And Dan's going to clean the bathroom. And then when I get back, I'm going to uh, finish getting the house ready. 
got my flowers on to celebrate. Decorations are more or less done. Got a few more things to put up. I've been assembling a crochet flamingo this morning. Let the Jimming Penyo Day celebrations begin. I thought it was Himming. Himming Penyo weekend. There's a box here. Box. All will be revealed. Where's the box? Oh, box! Mum and my sister are here for the traditional Jim and Penny afternoon tea <laughs> and we've got to make our exchange because we didn't do this oh, at Christmas. Yes. Oh, look. Now, That's the wrong hand for a start. But, um, I, your wedding ring. <laughs> yeah. At Christmas we swap our granny's wedding ring which is the gold one you can see there um, but we couldn't do it because we didn't see each other at Christmas. So I'll give it to Jenny now on Jim and Penny day. Oh, and that I was going to do at Christmas, and I put them <laughs> together. So the swing is ready. <laughs> Dan found the whole thing rather stressful. He may have shouted at me. Lily is going to test it. It's really close to the ground, so watch your feet and head. What do you think? Yeah, but with, with the other one taped up. He is chilled. It's time to do Saturday night dinner. We're having burgers tonight. Um, so we're all having the same burgers. My mum is a meat eater, but my sister is also a vegetarian, like Phoebe and like Dan. So we're having our favourite vegetarian burger, which is better than a normal burger which is, oh, they've changed their packaging. They were called Naked Glory, but now they're Taste and Glory. I wonder when they changed that. Oh no, it says on it, look. Naked Glory is now Taste and Glory, same epic product. I concur. So I'm gonna get these on. I've got uh, a salad that I've made um, with loads of stuff from the garden, which is exciting. So we've got lettuce for the garden and this is our first ever homegrown radishes. We had one the other day but we've got quite a few now that have been ready to pick so that's all in our salad as well. The lettuce is cut and come again so the more we pick the more it grows. <laughs> my hair I've just got out the bath and I'm just um, in that stage of frizziness and pink faceness <laughs> it's very quiet because obviously my mum and sister went home in an uber last night and he's just gone to get them this morning so they're on their way back now and we're gonna have a lovely lunch probably have a nice walk and then we're gonna have our sort of Jimmy Peño day meal later which is gonna be takeaway pizza except I don't really like takeaway pizza so I'm gonna make a homemade one um, like I normally would on a Friday night. But right now, I think I had a, a glass of Prosecco too many last night. So I think I'm gonna have an iron brew and try and cool my face down a bit.
got my flamingo t-shirt on. Lilia's got her flamingo shorts on. Phoebe's got her flamingo t-shirt on. Dan's got his flamingo t-shirt on. And I'm just you've just got flowers. You've got flowers. And I you're you Jenny didn't get the message. <laughs> <laughs> I turned up. We're gonna do our Jim and Peño Day presents now. We all randomly were given numbers and that had to correspond to a supermarket aisle, whatever supermarket we were in. And we had to buy a gift for under five pounds from the supermarket aisle. Yeah. So. And you cannot choose. Oh. Oh. <laughs> what is this? Oh, it's it's a oh, I want that. I <laughs> what aisle is that from? Aisle 12, electronics, light bulbs and... <laughs> <laughs> what supermarket? I'm gonna go get it. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, you can use oh, that on the very screen when it's nice. Mile, mile one, bedding and linen. Oh, you yes. lucked out a little oh, bit. Yeah. Not yes. really this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's so lucky. <laughs> Babies. Oh. What was your aisle? It was aisle 10, <laughs> and it was dry pulses and tin <laughs> vegetables. Yes. And I do you love things. <laughs> Sweet chili halloumi bites. Yes, I've loved that. Oh, I should have got that. <laughs> that was, that was aisle chocolate. 20 frozen vegetables. And this is it. <laughs> it's beer munch. Perfectly paired with IPA. Oh, my God. Oh. Oh. Turn it round, Mum. That's the back. Oh, yeah. oh, oh, <laughs> oh, oh fruit and veg shaped. No, I just Aisle sugar. Seven. <laughs> Yummy. Aisle 7. Baby food and nappies. <laughs> <laughs> We were having so much fun decorating our traditional Jim and Peño Day Flamingo gingerbread cookies that we forgot to film it. So I will just show you the fabulous decoration that we've just done. Wow. I mean, nothing says Jim and Peño Day <laughs> like beautifully decorated flamingos. I did that one. That's very good, Jenny. Well done. Yours has got a wing. Yes. Very artistic. <laughs> Don't go around tonight. Well, it's bound to take you up. Okay. There's a bad moon on the rise. It's been you! Yay! It's the end of a lovely day. It's quite chilly now. We're all going to go and chill out for a bit before Auntie Jenny and Granny go home. Do you love your swing? Yeah. Yeah? Can you tell? I can. Swing, swing, swing. swing Do you love Jimmy and Penny today? Yeah. <laughs> can you tell? <laughs> I decided to draw our little weird flamingo in an avocado decoration to commemorate the day and compliment my little journal entry in my sketchbook here. I've also done a sketch, a very small sketch of our living room, which I'll show you in more detail. I'm trying to be really loose and non-perfectionist with the paint here on the flamingo uh, because that's how the decoration is all the paint is very smudged and not very well done and I just wanted to have a bit of fun with it and commemorate Jim and Peño weekend
I really hope you've enjoyed watching this little vlog of our invented family holiday. Maybe it'll inspire you to do something with your family just for fun. And thank you so much for watching and I'll see you again next time.